we start off with your name, or should we start a new account? Let's do this. Right, here we go. James. Oh, you know, let's not call it James. Let's call it the phone. Yeah. No. Okay. You know, I just realised I don't know what the key the buttons are for this game. Yeah, they can hear me. Unfortunately, you poor people have to listen to what I say. You need to look at the blueprints, see which parts you need to build your vehicle. Sounds pretty self-explanatory. Click on the parts you need for more information about them. Go to the warehouse and find the parts. That looks like a giant block of cheese. Wheel. Brake. Oh. No. Move up, down, left, right. Jump up. Throw bananas at the chimps. Well, it's not every day you hear that. How do I sprint? Oh! <laughs> Puzzle time! Sounds good. Yay! Okay, it's uh, Gloomy JD back here. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the introduction from my uh, friend James there over at the uh, what's your channel? JB Photography, I believe. Uh, the productive channel. The productive channel. Yes. No, I'm thinking of your Twitter. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, today we are going to be streaming. Oh, we are streaming Gizmos and Gadgets, a uh, classic old PC game that my friend here James has uh, been looking at for a while. One of those uh, childhood nostalgia games, methinks. Uh, yeah, we uh, unfortunately don't have a 386 to play this on at the moment, but uh, DOSBox will do just fine. <laughs> yeah, so, I think here at the moment we're just looking for some parts. This game was made in 1993 by the Learning Channel, apparently. <laughs> Which is excellent. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure if you can hear my friend James though, we're sharing a mic at the moment, but uh... Not best impressed at the chimps there. Even more surprising that throwing chimps bananas apparently makes them take a nap. Let's take another puzzle. Struggling a bit there with that one, James. Yes. <laughs> so now all this, uh, all these magnets. It was a simpler time in 1993. Yeah. Graphics don't look all that bad, to be honest with you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, this looks fancy. <laughs> please don't... <laughs> please don't tell me you just had to dial that for. <laughs> That's insane. <clears throat> okay. Now we get to the fun part. See, edutainment's never been so good. You do a little bit of work, get yourself a little bit of parts, and then you can uh, have a bit of fun. Edutainment. You never heard of edutainment, James? It's like entertainment, but more educational. I ain't even knocking that thing with my leg. <laughs> Fiberglass body. That was the best way I've ever seen of applying wheels to a vehicle. Okay, <laughs> what are you going for? Uh, Waterfly. Waterfly? Oh, we only picked up two anyway by the looks of it. Oh. You don't want to be driving that without the frame on it, James. <laughs> I reckon we're going to win. It's got to go faster stripes, how can we lose? I think you won. I'm sure you didn't set the name to Gloomy JD, did you? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, that's round one. Okay. Gas powered racer. Tire. Wheel. Brake. Body. Same again. Oh, differential. Uh, fuel, tank. fuel tank? Yeah. And an engine. engine. Doesn't tell you what type of engine. I'm disappointed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As long as it's not built by the Germans, we'll be fine. <coughs> I wonder if this has a feature of when you're racing, the whole screen just goes black. <laughs> I can't guess what we're going to make here. Is it a spear? It looks like a pencil. It still looks like a pencil. <laughs> it's a nail. I've never seen a nail in that color scheme. Sounds good. So uh, you'll have to excuse me here, but I'm guessing those boxes hold the parts. And the red things are the decals. Yes. Decals? Decals. 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 <laughs> oh, James, you're never going to get that dialing it to three when it's three spaces in front of you. <laughs> you're mad, man. <laughs> maths for the win. See, this is the kind of maths I can get down with. That was the most confusing thing I've ever read in my life, James. I don't know how you worked that out. What age range was this designed for? What age range was this designed for, do you know? <laughs> primary school. Primary yeah. school, I remember back when I was at primary school, um, oh, which would have been like late 90s, early 2000s, we still had a BBC Micro. Computer. Honestly, along with the Windows 98 machines. And I was always intrigued by the thing. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the games I used to play at school. There was um, a good one where you play as these five characters and a dog and you go around solving crimes. I don't know if that rings any bells for you. <laughs> if anyone knows what that is, please leave a comment because that's going to really annoy me now. <laughs> yes, there was five people. It was um, a game we used to play on Windows 98, it must have been late 90s. And I remember playing it in primary school, and you go around solving mysteries. It always reminded me of Scooby-Doo, but it wasn't. Okay, see now this is where math gets, uh, science gets interesting. 
Okay. I think primary school kids would enjoy this. Yeah. I mean, just. Well, this is MS DOS, isn't it? It wouldn't cost schools a thing. There's no point buying kids' iPads, how oh, no. Yeah. It's educational. <laughs> I just realised that word makes no absolute sense. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, we probably should need to improve the mic situation next time we go for a stream so people can hear you properly there, James. <laughs> yeah. Am I say something? Hello? No, no, people can't hear you. I'm looking at that there. <laughs> <laughs> I think this mic's designed to be noise cancelling, which doesn't help. <laughs> What if I direct it that way? No, that's not gonna work. Mm. Yeah. Isn't it like we've got much left to uh to collect? Though? Oh, no. oh, more magnets? I'm sensing a bit of a uh, repetition here. This is getting slightly harder. Now we're adding in the rotate element. On the plus side, this is a game my PC can actually play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do you reckon, James? Sounds good. 50 horsepower was that. <clears throat> it's almost as much as a base <laughs> base model Yaris. <laughs> More than a base model Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be a G Wiz engine. <laughs> I I would dread to think how much power a G Wiz has. Yeah, a slight flaw with my uh, quote-unquote <laughs> multi-monitor setup, which involves a monitor and a TV, or the broadcast monitor, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a uh, Breaking Bad quote I could <laughs> give you guys there. Chime in if you know <laughs> if you know it. I'm guessing this is no one of those, uh... An axe. No, it looked like a bone. Mind you, I suppose axes and bones, they can be used in a certain manner. Depends how, uh... Solid you want the bones to be. James informs me he's going to go drop these off. <laughs> I'm assuming if we get hit by the uh, monkeys, we're going to lose the parts there. So. Uh, I think we could hit a niche with these kind of games, James. Yes. <laughs> It would seem at some point uh, during this game it will stop playing Mozart, so uh, I'm not sure what the copyright is going to be like on that, but hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can shut that off. A differential with 4 to 1 gear ratio? 60 horsepower? Okay. 
still needing some tires. I wonder if this is the first time this has ever been streamed. Could this could be a YouTube first we're performing here. I do believe it's a YouTube first of me showing off an old calculator on my channel as well, but that is not quite as impressive. Or entertaining to watch. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed by this game to ask you, James, although the science and the maths is uh, basic. You could say subpar, you could say, well, that is just working out that. Yeah, I know. Hopefully no one's watching, no one saw that. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else would have been around about 1993. I'm not sure. 4 to 1 or 2 to 1 gear ratio? To be honest with you, I'm not a. Uh, not, not someone who understands gear ratio, so I couldn't really tell you what would be better there. getting slightly more complicated. Potato energy. Looks bang on to me. Nicely done, James. Nicely done. <laughs> Would be more impressed if that said potato energy. I don't think there'd be a market for this kind of game. Like in 2015, if say if they modernised this, you know, for modern schools, maybe increase the difficulty of the maths a bit. Don't think it's quite in the boxes. That counts. That matters. I say yeah, three and a half one we should get rid of. Three to one. Three and a half to one? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Driving in automatic gears have this effect on my brain. Okay, this looks interesting. And it's a pair of scales. Not like the scales I used in school, I tell you that. <laughs> I hope you shouldn't have too many more parts to go with there. You gotta have those self lubricating bushings, James. <laughs> yeah, I think that was another. Quite the number of monkeys there. <laughs> they are really terrifying looking monkeys. <laughs> Not sure what you'd class those as. I do love that animation when you go up the events. Right then, James. Excellently done. <laughs> yep. It kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia the way he jumps. Yeah. Close enough, we'll give you that one, James. You not put it back any further? Though?
Bang on. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you did before, but still, we'll count that as a win. Yeah, hopefully you guys can't hear James's phone going ping from Facebook Messenger there. I know in the last stream you could hear mine quite clearly. Uh, that was when James was texting me. Someone else was texting James, and I didn't ask. <laughs> it's nothing interesting. Nothing interesting, good. <laughs> I won't relay that to the good people of YouTube. <laughs> Close to this. That thing I said about maybe making the puzzles harder. <laughs> yes. I imagine that was only the first level that we've got through so far, so. Yeah. I used to always love that in the school. When we used to get the uh, rare occasion we're playing with electronics. You know, the little circuits. Remember those little buzzers that you ran off a 9 volt battery? Oh, that was always that was always good fun. I think you went through that door. So yeah, if you've just joined the stream, or if you've randomly jumped to a point in this when you're watching it back, we're playing the 1993 game Gadgets and Gizmos uh, over in DOSBox. Gizmos and Gadgets? <laughs> it's practically the same thing. <laughs> yeah, just uh, runs upside down, you have to turn your monitor upside down, that's all. But uh, anyway, we're on the second level here, and we're trying to build ourselves a race car. Um, those of you who don't know, and I imagine that's quite a few of you, this is a educational game where you go around collecting the parts, doing puzzles, and then you can have a little bit of fun building the bits together and having a race. And so the aim is, I'm assuming here, to find the best parts you can. Yes. Find a better body than I. Yeah. So we're looking to find a better body at the moment. I know we had fiberglass last time. Not quite sure what they're getting at here. I'm messing this slide. <laughs> You got my uh, friend here, James, from the Productive Channel, uh, currently playing the game. Uh, we're trying to play the game, by the way. Oh, <laughs> we got there eventually. That took a long time. That's one strange looking slide. Okay, James, how are we looking for parts? Looks like uh, we've got a few bits so far. Yeah, we have wheels, uh, decals, brakes, gasoline, four to one gear ratio, three to one gear ratio. When you check the short slope, gear ratio, 50 horsepower, 60 horsepower, more gasoline, and green. Looking good. Dream science in action. <laughs> it does seem to be a recurring trend with the electronics puzzles in this game, I've noticed. <laughs> they always involve bulb, wire and battery, so <laughs> Maybe we'll uh maybe we'll find some more things along these levels though. So. You get rid of the fifty horsepower? Fifty five. <laughs> I'm guessing the long body's going to be better than the short body, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, this time we have to add the battery themselves. It does look somewhat suspiciously like a resistor. Yes. I don't think you can power a light from a resistor, no. <laughs> okay, so we're going this time. 45. Yeah, another body. Wooden body shaped like a box. 
Excellent. Maybe that's an improvement, who knows. Okay. Not entirely sure what that was, to be honest with you there. for parts continues in quest of a better body, hopefully a fiberglass one. I gotta say that's quite impressive. <laughs> I do like that. I quite like the little faux LCD message box on the bottom left as well. Yes. <laughs> it's not much better in life than the fake LCD. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> four tires, sounding good. And yet another fuel tank. Yeah. So hopefully we should have about all the parts now to uh, build the car. I'm enjoying that. Uh, animation of jumping through the file menu at the top there as well. Well you can technically go up a slide, that's probably the better way of doing it. I'm assuming you guys can still hear the pings there. <laughs> we were playing a child's game, James. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> time for another challenge. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing a recurring theme here. <laughs> Before you know it, these primary school kids will be building the computers of tomorrow. Well, maybe at least a power LEDs for them. Yeah, that's um, a funny story, James. It's just reminded me of there. Um, back when we were in school, we did have an electronics class. Uh, it's just part of some extracurricular activities we had to do. Uh, and one of these was building an automated thing with a microcontroller. Now, part of this involved us playing with LEDs and 9 volt batteries. And if any of you have played around with LEDs and 9 volt batteries before, you'll know this can, on rare occasions, result in an explosion which is uh, amplified when it's between your fingers. Hey, James. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone turns around laughing. It's quite loud, it's quite amusing, and I imagine it hurts. A little bit. Okay, and we've done a few too many challenges, I think, so we might go back and have a little look at the car. See the switch being implemented there as well, which is always nice to see. <laughs> I'm assuming, James, you've never heard of the uh, capacitors being thrown at someone. No, you've never heard of that? You know, charge up a nice juicy capacitor, and have a bit of a jab in the arm there, of the pins? Okay. <laughs> Give your friends a bit of a jolt. It's not looking quite as great as the first car, if any of you guys in the stream have watched that. We do now have a rather fetching green paint job, however. I'm thinking 5 inch tyres. Probably the better ones, that. Oh, 
reminds me of micro machines this bit. I'm doing well so far. <laughs> and once again, victory is ours. We are now an assistant. And if only that 30 grand was our salary, not our score. I just realised I'm waffling this wire. I hope no one can hear that. Okay, so we're finished with cars now. We're going to try something a little bit different. Which one are you thinking there, James? Technology. Okay, so looking at five levels per thing there for the cars. Speaks another car for us there as well. Pet, a pedal powered racer. Okay. So brakes, gears. Okay, so not looking too bad there. The dual brakes is always a good idea, of course. <laughs> I believe my actual car has only drum brakes on the back still. <laughs> we may build a car greater than mine <laughs> upon the course of this, James. Granted, and it's not very hard to do. But, uh, it may seem like we are start, like, starting from the complete beginning again. It's probably because we are. Yeah, it may seem like we're starting from the complete beginning again, and that's uh, probably because we are. Obviously, with a uh, different category there, and that just looks strange. I don't want to be giving a, you know, primary school age kid that to look at. That's going to haunt them for the rest of their lives. Okay, more balancing. Nicely done. Yeah, it's not too many parts to get this time, and that monkey is still asleep. I'm liking the fetching pink background on this level. Looking good so far? <laughs> Excellent animation, of course. Okay, yeah, apparently heat as well. Nope, I'm not sure how that works either. Okay, let's see what lies behind door number whatever door we're on. Okay, so it looks like we have to place the bits in there again. I shall, uh, have have my hand at this as well. <laughs> I can do science, me. <laughs> okay. Those doors there, do they mean anything different or are they all just doors? Just different doors, excellent. Well, it's a start. Do you think you can do this? I'm sure I can do this. I think I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware. <laughs> now that I have two cogs, I'm aware I can do this. Ah, we have to do this manually. Close enough. <laughs> we'll count that as a win. Yeah, 
Yeah, not too much down here. Okay. So, light energy, of course, will be the uh, matches, I'm assuming. As well as heat. So, again, a little bit more complicated. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's probably not the greatest cuckoo cock clock I've ever heard. <laughs> but still, you gotta give it credit for trying. Okay, we're gonna take a bit of a switch places here. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to fit the space ball pretty soon. Oh no, I think that monkey's fine. <laughs> Tim has just dropped his headphones. Okay, right. <laughs> the room we're in is uh, not. <laughs> probably, yeah, not too far off two foot by one foot. So, uh, it's an interesting moving around here. Okay, so I am now at the uh, driver's seat. Okay, okay. Up to jump, got it. Down to pick stuff up, got it. Control to sprint. Throw a space bar. Throwing a space bar is always a good idea. Okay, so um not sure how we're gonna get out of this one. <laughs> Door behind the monkey. Okay. Yellow paint, looking good. Okay. The uh, hit detection on this is interesting. I must say it's not one I've ever played myself before. Um, <laughs> oh, well, my friend James is, remembers playing this from childhood. There, so it's all new to me, right? Looking good. Okay, so we'll get rid of the 22s of that. So you can have a choice now, you can go up or down, or you can stay. Oh, well, you can't go up, you can go down. Let's try ourselves another challenge here. Have I made the rookie mistake? <laughs> that is not a rookie mistake, James. I see what you're trying to do there. <laughs> Making me doubt myself there. Let's go up another floor. <laughs> That's one way of doing it then. You can't argue with that. Okay. This looks interesting. I'm not even sure what that is, and I didn't ask. How is that a sink? Okay, no, I'm an idiot. That is a tap. Okay then. <laughs> okay, got some more parts here. Five-speed gears. Two point two four tires, and two-wheel stopping brake. 
I think we do have gears as well, so that may be all we need actually. Okay, we'll just see what else is down here, and we may go back and try and build ourselves a ride. Okay, blue paint, so we can have our yellow or blue. Ten speed gears. Yeah. I have a feeling, uh, what do you reckon, James? Get rid of the yellow or the blue? I've got to be the yellow. Okay, and. Throw it on it all. And we got green, so we can have it green and blue now. Okay, let's see what's in these last few doors. Might as well, since as we're here. We'll uh, take ourselves back down the tube. Ah, uh, so we've got any more paint actually. We'll get rid of the green. Yeah, and we got yellow paint back again. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that was in the red box. Okay. So we'll be wanting the bigger tyres. Two wheel stopping brake. Two wheel stopping brake, so that's uh, all well and good. I'm guessing we want the slanted chassis there. Okay, yellow or blue? What are you thinking? Think We're thinking blue. Okay. So Five speed, and of course the ten speed. And let's see how we do. I'm going to call this the blue lightning. Oh, it's a close one, but... <laughs> okay, yeah. And it may be why... <laughs> Maybe why I whisk of it again. Really? I'll try it. And according to that um, extreme work we did there, we're now a technician. Okay, we can try. S James informs we should now try the uh, Shady Glen. <laughs> okay, slightly more interesting. We've got the, need the engine, the gondola, the envelope, a paint, and a decal. So, let's go take a look what we can find. Okay, we're back to level one, of course, now because we've got a different mode. Okay, not gonna make myself doubt doubt myself this time, James. Yeah, you made the challenge mistake. Okay, I made the <laughs> I may have made the bad mistake this time. We'll ignore that. <laughs> okay, so what we got here? engine in front of the gondola and rectangular gondola attached to the envelope ok I'm guessing we can't go through this way I guess we'll go across here and try all the alternate doors More magnets, everybody's favourites. Hmm, so I'm taking a little bit more working out. <laughs> it's just slightly confusing me, that one. We can't have that one there. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. 
You can go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that one did confuse me. <laughs> Screw science! <laughs> Come out the door and get hit by a monkey. Looking good. Well, it's not a bad start. We've got uh, two things that could potentially fly. That worries me, James. What's the other? Almost. Maybe, maybe one just more there. Nah, it's fine. We seem to be getting worse at this. <laughs> maybe that's because it's me playing. In fact, it's certainly because I'm playing. Right. Okay, we'll ignore that door for a moment and see what we got. Green paint. Narrow envelope. That could be quite good. I'm rectangular, hung on wires. So we got one directly attached and one on wires. What was the engine? Was it a small engine or I'm not sure on the engine. I think it was one attached directly to the oh? in from front of the uh Gonzola. A <laughs> quack and I what is it called? Gondola. Gondola. Same thing. <laughs> that sounds like some kind it does. It sounds like someone's name or a type of cheese. <laughs> Gorgonzola. <laughs> Gorgonzola cheese. <laughs> now with space flight. <laughs> Where did space come from? <laughs> Monkey space flight. Okay. Well, ignore me and go into another door. I was expecting it to be cl cleverer there, like wanting it to point upwards to jump, but okay, maybe not. Yes, I think I'm one step ahead of the game, and then look what goes and happens. Right. Okay. Bananas. Excellent. You have to actually fully stop moving before you can uh, go to the next thing I've noticed there. Okay, sounds a little bit more interesting. That's that's not gonna reach. That may reach. No, that's not gonna reach. Hmm. Excellent. <laughs> Good sake, I'm doing just about as well as this when I first tried to play Portal. Engine, so, okay, so we could engine behind yeah, so and engine. Down to, back down to the place. We, can we can now give this a go. Should be all we need. So, what are you thinking? Engine in front or engine behind? Yeah, let's go ahead and put the other stuff in first. So if we get the, <laughs> if we get the Gonzola, of course, the envelope. Okay, so we'll give it the only paint job I managed to pick up. Now, on wires or straight on? I'd say wires. Wires. It, it does look smaller. Okay. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking behind. I'm thinking behind. Yep. Um, Let's see how we do. Okay, we're off to a good start so far. Yeah. It will be quite interesting to see what the different variants do there.
And yet again, <laughs> probably through no doing of my own, we find ourselves victorious. <laughs> and uh, we have again reached the rank of Engineer. What are you thinking, James? Should we go back to Tech Centre or should we build another? Okay, maybe we should just rerun the race. That's <laughs> that works as well. Yeah, just in case you want guys want an action replay, we're just hoping it would let you recustomize the parts. But uh, we can see these excellent racers fighting for position there, of course, as we speed ahead of them. I would find it quite amusing if that gave us the points again. No, we don't even get uh, we don't even get the podium this time. So. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you want to call that the stream? It's okay, we could definitely call that the stream. Um, if if you're up to that, I it's probably been about an hour since we've been playing this game, and uh, we have another game we're after trying, so that we may well see another stream from us tonight. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting look at an old edutainment. I will reuse that word, um, game from the early 90s there, one my friend James fondly remembers. I'm assuming fondly. Uh, and it's probably the longest I've ever played an educational game as well, so there's that. <laughs> but uh, okay, thank you guys for watching. I shall uh, quit this game here. Hopefully this isn't going to break anything. Okay, no, it's just dropped us straight back into DOS, we can live with that. And, uh, okay, as I said, thanks you guys for watching. You may see another stream from us soon. And uh, hit that like button if you liked. Hit the dislike if you didn't. And uh, probably go for the former of them. Thanks for watching.